Now, I don't think being an appointed son of God puts you above the law. And I'm sure no one is above the law. Hard question, pero yung una na lang po. Uh, what do you envision happening, or what I mean to say siguro, what do you envision the House doing in case the pastor uh, continues his defiance stance uh, on his, ano, yung uh, sampina? Narinig nyo naman siguro yung sinabi niya, 30-minute na audio file, no? You see, I really don't know where, 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 where the yung pastor, si Pastor Apollo stands on, on this. Eh, clearly, he... Actually, nung narinig ko talaga, parang gusto ko, ay, ayoko nang patulad yung mga sinabi niya. But the House will have to deal... Dito na tayo sa House, no? Huwag na natin isipin si Apollo Kibuloy. On the House, we will implement the law. If he does not... If he does not appear, then we will be constrained to execute the subpoena and make sure that he is here to answer the questions and issues raised against him. Now, I don't think being an appointed son of God puts you above the law. And I'm sure no one is above the law. Quick follow-up, uh, Kong. Do you think ano, uh, he simply does not understand the gravity of the situation that he is in? Believe me, he's a pastor. He commands a strong, uh, num na good number of people around the world. He knows what he's doing. He knows that he's clearly defying the law. He knows he's injuring the political system that we have in place. He's disrespecting the authorities. And I think that he'll be made accountable in that at the right time. Thank you, Paul.